Selby, South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire. Diana Luke, BBC Radio Sheffield. So you can email me tonight. The cutoff is within the next half hour, OK? And that's uh, diana.luke at bbc.co.uk. Or you can text 81333 with my name, Diana, at the beginning. Stumbled across the 60s programme all whilst out in the caravan, I think, many years ago. And thought, oh, she's playing some darn good music. Did a competition, I didn't remember that. And I thought, nobody's getting the answer. So I texted in and got the right answer. And then I was hooked, simple as that, Saturday nights as it was then, 9 o'clock, now 10 o'clock, 60s music, can't beat it. We listen to Diana every Saturday evening. We just love the 60s music. Yes, indeed. Uh, and I love to hear Diana's voice. I think she's a wonderful voice. Basically, I just wanted to see who owned that fantastic voice. She comes across as such a caring person, and I think she makes everybody feel individual. I listen to the show every Saturday night. In fact, it is my Saturday night. Everything I do on a Saturday revolves around the show. I don't go out now on a Saturday night. I just love the music. I love the company that we all keep. And basically, everything about the show is just brilliant. Really, really do. I really enjoy listening to Diana. She has a very personable attitude. She's knowledgeable of music. She plays something that's out of the ordinary. A lot of these oldest stations, you know what's coming on, but with her she throws a good rock record, psychedelia or the blues, which especially I like. And uh, she remembers everyone that phones in, nice peculiarities about them, and it's as though she's in the same room with you. Um, so every Saturday I'll just be there listening. We now wouldn't miss the show for anything at all. The only one I miss is when I'm on holiday, and then I catch it up on I play. Uh, and I do love to listen to Diana and her accent because it's so smooth and uh, attractive, this Canadian accent, so, that, so it really attracts me, I think. Diana fits in with the 60s perfectly for me, plays a lot of the music I like to hear and throws one or two little competitions in. And I've listened to Diana Lowe for the past oh, five or six years, but I used to listen to her on Great Yorkshire Gold. I've got a lot of admiration for Diana for what she's done for me in the past, um, in 1986, and I'll never forget her for her. I'll never really be able to thank her enough. And I think she's an absolutely terrific, terrific person, and I'll listen to any time she's on the radio. Yeah, we've been listening for quite a while. We, we originally got into the show because we used to go out on a Saturday night and coming home and listen to the radio and pick Diana up on the radio. And then when we stopped going out so much, we then sort of listen more and more on the radio. And now it's virtually compulsory. In fact, Marilyn calls Diana the other woman in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> in a nice way. In, in a nice, nice way, way yeah. 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 came across Diana's show and very much welcomed the fact that she was playing something rather different from all the party music that all the other stations seemed to play. So I made a point then when I was at home, I felt like listening a bit more often then. Even now, the variety is really good because the music's eclectic. There's so much sort of rock and soul and jazz and uh, psychedelia, for example. And even with Diana herself, when she invites us to partake in these quizzes, she seems to acknowledge every listener as being meaningful in their, in their own right. And she does read out most messages. So it feels in a way like it's a party with all of us together listening to 60s music. And I like the atmosphere as well as obviously the music itself. Yes, and I started listening to Diana, oh, years ago. And I was sort of hooked on a Saturday night because I didn't have to work on a Saturday night. So first thing I'd do is turn on the, the radio and then you'd come in from work and you got hooked. Yeah. <laughs> um, she sort of draws you in, she's got a lovely friendly voice. Um, and people on Facebook are so lovely, you know, it's really, really a great show. In fact, turn TV off on a Saturday night, full stop, you know, and listen to the radio. And then Sunday night, obviously, they look all of different, different mix of people, different mix of music, but nevertheless, it's still excellent music, presented superbly by Diana. Yeah. And it's because of that, it's the friendly, sort of engaging manner in which she presents it that, uh, that really holds, yeah. holds us in there. And I started listening to Diane way back in, I think it must have been 80s. She used to do a late programme, I believe, um, where people used to phone in with problems and so on. And I used to be running a couple of my girls who used to work for me at home. And I'd have the radio on and she used to be on then at the oh, time. Oh, you dark yeah. horse. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I didn't know about her in those days. Well, you always knew Diane by her distinctive voice, obviously. Yes, yes. I think she's brilliant. She's one in a million. 
I think she's a wonderful person. She gives some great advice and she's just she is just one in a million. She's a friend that everybody needs. Just have a look here. We've got John and Maureen and Roy and uh, uh, Karen and Chris and Maxine and Rich and Lisa, Conrad and Marie and Richard and Mike and Chris and uh, Gillian and Karen and Rob and Jane, Ian and Josephine. It goes on. Tony, uh, Helen and Mick and Sid and Paul and Neil and Marilyn. And, and they're all there. They're all there. Lots of people. So uh, we're going to have a wonderful meetup. Uh, do remember it's 12.45. Well, that's it now. We've had a wonderful meet-up again, our second meet-up, this time at BBC Radio Sheffield. Thank you to so many of you for coming out. It's been great meeting you. Hope you enjoyed the fudge. We'll be chatting with you soon, I'm sure. Lovey, South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire. Diana Luke, BBC Radio Sheffield.